Hi everyone, this is Mr. Silver here. I'm going to show you how to make a lovely, tasty, nutritious breakfast. The great thing about this recipe is you can always also have it as a pudding after your dinner. It's really healthy, really nutritious, and a time when we should be thinking about our immune system as well, okay? And keeping that well nourished. Okay, I'm going to make a fruit salad. I'm going to start off with three fruit here. I've got kiwi, I've got mango, and I've got banana, but you can use any fruit that you have lying around in your fruit bowl. I've also got some Greek yogurt, but again, you can use any type of yogurt, and I'll have some granola as well. Right, remember, the first things you need to do when preparing food, we need to wash our hands. Any fruit or vegetables that has got skin on it, we are going to keep the skin on where possible because it provides us with that essential fibre that our body needs. Um, I haven't got any here to wash, but you will need to wash yours. Right, I'm going to start off with the kiwi. So first of all, we need to top and we need to tail our kiwi. That's cutting either ends off. Please be very careful when using knives. I like to peel using a knife, but please make sure where possible that you are using a peeler. Again, being very, very careful when peeling kiwis. All right, here we go. Okay, once we've done that, we are going to halve them. Remember, when we halve, flat side down, and then I'm going to quarter each half. Okay. Now, I am going to divide my fruit into two bowls. Okay, just like so. Right, mango next. Mangoes are quite difficult to prepare. Remember that mango has a big stone in the center of it. So we're effectively cutting around the stone in the middle. Right, we're gonna start with one side. Again, just roll it around. Make sure you're using a chopping board as well when you're cutting. Again, I'm only gonna use half for now. You don't need to see me cut the whole mango. Right, halve it very carefully. Use your knife like a saw we are taking the flesh away from the skin okay and there you have your skins there i'm going to cut in half lengthways and then i'm going to dice them okay half goes into my bowl the other side again being very careful with your knife Remember to keep all your rubbish in one corner on your chopping board. And then half goes into my dessert bowl. Lastly, I have my banana. Okay, and we can slice the banana. Just remember if you're using fruits like apples or pears, they go brown very easily. So try and eat your fruit salad as soon as you've prepared it. If you're preparing it and want to have it for later, then just make sure you cover it with a little bit of fruit juice to stop the fruit from going brown. Right, last thing I'm gonna do, well, not quite last, I'm going to get a spoonful of my yogurt. I'm just gonna pop that onto the top. Remember, you can use any yogurt for this. And then just for a bit of crunch, and to give it the last, I'm just gonna add a little bit of granola. You can really use any type of cereal. It doesn't matter too much. So now here, I have my lovely breakfast in my breakfast bowl, and I wanna turn it into a fancy pudding. I'll put it into my dessert bowl. And just as a special treat, because sometimes we need a special treat, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of maple syrup on top of my fancy pudding. And there we have it. Lovely, healthy, nutritious breakfast or pudding. Don't forget, please put all your peelings into your food bin. Nothing goes to waste here. I can wrap my mango up in my cling film and put it back into my fridge for whenever I want to use it later. I hope you found it useful. Stay safe, take care, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.